I just so happened to look over at the neighbor's birch trees, primarily because I was going to do some work on that side. And what I noticed was around the entire base of the of the birch tree was the oak root fungus. Now this mushroom, if you see it growing around the base of the tree, you have to recognize that it grows on the roots and the, the base of the wood from the tree. And you'd only see it when it comes when it's wet, but the rest of the year you don't know that it's it's in the ground. But it's a really good indicator that the root system is completely and totally rotting. Hello. So when you see that, you see that area there, that mush? Those are other mushrooms, the oak root uh, fungus mushrooms that have dissolved. And time went by, and sure enough, the tree failed. Part of it failed. One of the three stems broke, hit the neighbor's tree, which was what we were called out for. We had to clean up some broken DR cedar limbs. At the base of the tree, it was very clear to the homeowner as well that the tree was cracking and ready to fall on the house. The tree was extremely brittle. There's no way that we would climb this tree. And because of the brand new landscape, I couldn't really get a, land, a, a bucket truck in there. Uh, the cost of a crane was prohibitive and would have exceeded the value of the new landscape. Uh, long story short, um, is I had to convince the client that we had to make a big drop. You can see they were so panicked, they put a couple of props in the back of the tree there, leaned it up against the house, and she was pretty worried. So what I did is I put my cell phone, turned it on, and I spoke to her, and here's the conversation. I think you'll like this. As you are aware, this should have been done last year because the wood is extremely fragile and to climb these trees is mm -hmm. sheer insanity. Mm -hmm. We can't get a bucket truck in here, we can't get any equipment in here, so the only way that I will do this is to fell these trees that way. Now this one over here, yeah. you clearly understand how hazardous <laughs> it is because you've got posts up there. Yeah. All right, there's after that fell yes. because we didn't notice the crack. I think yes. we didn't notice the crack even in January because I have photos from yes. after talking to you that was I checked and the cracks yes. just developed and when the tree fell we saw the cracks and we were really alarmed that oh yes, this is ready to go down. So yeah. I'll do the best job I can. We'll move your birds, we'll move the bridge, we'll move everything out of the way. Ooh, okay. But I cannot guarantee these. I won't guarantee these. So I'll be that's still okay, right? These are well, quite resistant. Okay, can, maybe worst case we'll have to chop them off. They, 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 will, they will very likely survive. Mm -hmm. Old dead wood does not have the same flexibility mm -hmm. as, as oh. living tissue. Mm -hmm. So, so it when you just cut snap. you exactly. Mm -hmm. So you cut a wedge mm -hmm. in it and you come in from the backside, typically what happens is the wood will bend over and you've got control. But when you lose all control from total dead, um, that's why I say it's a calculated risk. You know, we can give it a good pull on it. I'm gonna set. I'm gonna set all your landscape lights down. You know, and well, there's a lot to potentially break here. So, like I said, you know, this is a calculated risk that we're taking, and it's not something I'm really eager to do. Yeah, I wish you had done it when it was safe. You know, I, yeah, I wish the person was a little bit knowledgeable about trees who did my landscaping and said, please get this down. Okay, yeah. This is going to spoil it. Well, remember yeah, last year when I, I showed you the mushrooms? But that was this, this January. We got this work done in May. Well, it was, it was a year ago. No, it almost, was this, almost a year ago that year this ago. was this, this, riddled this. with the mushrooms. Yeah, the mushrooms that were at the base of the tree were the armillaria. Yeah. You, and that's, I remember that's, that. that's what's known as a saprophytic mushroom that decays wood. I thought that was earlier this year. The cedar over there, and the direct angle over there, then it can go this way, and then it'll crack and go that way. But I think we have to go that way with the rope, far enough till it gets vertical, and then tips. There's a lot of ways this could go. Um, it's, it's not holding up. Every piece we cut just snaps off easy. It doesn't bend over. And with that piece over there that went down. Well, let's get the first two down. The middle and should be. Then we'll get a rope on that one. Um, you know, here's another option. 
put a rope up there, put it on the bobcat, not cut it at all, and just go for it. Pull, 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 and rip it out. Because it'll break at the base. It'll break, but unless it swings all the way over there. Yeah, this is higher, way farther here to the left than we think. I don't know. I don't know. I think that I think that that is going to be excessive. All I really wanted to do is get it going in that direction. I told them we can't guarantee the plants. I'd like to save the Japanese maple, but I really believe that when we cut it, we can get this thing going where it's going to fall either that way, I mean, ideally that way, but it's got such a lean on it and it's breaking at the base. I'll bet you. All right, give it a good pull. Harder. In a straight line, both of you guys. Okay. You're pulling pretty good. I think you can do it. Okay, you ready?
Get the house.